things that Azure Machine Learning provides that we saw in both webinars one and two is that there are multiple ways to deploy a machine learning model. One is to write back to the database, as we saw in webinar two. Um, the other is to do a real-time web service. So just to, to give you a, a shot of that, there are multiple ways to deploy those web services as well. Um, in a write back, you're typically using a batch mode, which is a bit slower. Um, and then in web services, you're in a near real time capability. Um, so let's talk about how that might influence different areas of the organization. So remember, we started in marketing. Um, we created a dashboard for a marketer to use, but there are other areas that this can touch. So in call center, we would potentially utilize both batch and real-time processes. Um, what you see here is sort of a, a screenshot of what a call center rep might be looking at in talking with a customer. And there are a couple of ways that we can use the data from the churn model in call center. The first is to route high churn propensity calls to a dedicated retention team. So the actual representative that someone is talking to may be different based on whether or not they're likely to churn. During the call, we could actually rescore their churn using those web services based on outcomes. So as the call center representative moves through their workflow and clicks on uh, various outcomes for the customer, it might say that this customer is less or more likely to churn. And then we would feed those updated scores back to the database for use in other applications, such as route management. This would be for a field service technician and how they prioritize whom they need to serve and uh, repair in a given day. Again, we would use both batch and real time. Uh, for example, we could prioritize high value, high risk customers for service when doing our daily route selections so that it would show not only in the manager but also to the field technician themselves whom to serve when based on their risk. Once service is complete, you could have a real-time trigger that updates and, uh, the scores based on the time to resolve or if there's a continued problem to update that as well. All of that could then be fed back into finance. So imagine this would be a batch process. Imagine that finance uh, wanted to adjust their accounts receivable based on projections for uh, their churn. We could have a daily batch that rolls up revenue likely to churn in the next 30 days that then gets sent to a financial system where the general ledger is automatically adjusted to reflect those latest estimates. Um, because it's finance, of course, there's an auditing process. So at the end of the month, the audits would check movement from prior month close to current month close to see how much was adjusted. Those are just a few of the ways that one model could touch other parts of an organization using more and different types of data.